Hi friends, welcome back to another Disney craft tutorial. Today we're gonna to be making these really fun Disney coin banks. So if you're interested to see how we make these, stay tuned for the video. Okay guys, to get started, we are gonna need a couple supplies. So to start, we are going to need some glue. And for me, I'm using Mod Podge, but you can use Elmer's glue or a glue stick. I think Mod Podge for me is gonna work a little bit better. And since I have this available, I am going to use this. Um, so since I'm using this type of glue, I'm going to also need a paintbrush to be able to paint on this glue. Some scissors. Some kind of container to be like the base to your piggy bank. So I just happen to have an empty peanut container. So, but you can use an empty like sour cream container, salsa container, really anything that has a lid that you can open. Um, so I just cleaned mine out and it is ready to go to be my piggy bank. I have a quarter here just to be able to measure when I do cut the hole in the top of my piggy bank. This way I know how big to make the hole. Some tissue paper to cover our outside of our piggy bank and some Disney printables off our Disney classroom. So to get started, we are going to need our container. And then what we need to do very first is we want to actually cover up any of the writing or the pictures that are currently on here. So for me, since I'm using a peanut container, I wanna cover up all of this. And it doesn't look like this is something that I can just peel off. So I'm gonna go ahead and go the route where I just cover this. And so I'm gonna use some tissue paper to cover the outside of my container. So to cover the outside of your container, you can use tissue like I'm using, or you can use construction paper. Um, we are gonna be covering the, on top of this, we're gonna be covering with our Disney characters. So if you don't have construction paper or tissue paper and you'd rather just start covering with characters, that's okay too. But for the sake of the video, I am going to show you what it looks like if you cover it with a solid background first. So that is what I'm gonna do next. So to get started to cover our container, I am gonna start with just making some strips and some squares to then glue on top of my container. So I'm gonna just take my big piece of tissue paper and just start cutting squares and I'm just gonna make a pile. And then when I'm done cutting them all out, then I will start gluing them onto the outside. Okay guys, so now that I have my squares ready to go, I'm going to take my glue and my paintbrush and I'm going to just start covering the outside of my container with my green squares. And once I'm done using these, I will see if I need any more or if I need to like double layer over any of these letters that are still showing through. Um, so I will make that decision once I get all of these on here. So that is what I'm going to do next.
Okay, guys, so I have gone ahead and I have covered the entire container here. So it's covered in the green, and you can't see the white still because the paint is not quite dry. But Mod Podge dries clear, and so once it does dry, I will be able to just see solid green, which is exactly what I want. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put away my glue because I'm all done with it for right now. A quick tip if you are using Mod Podge, we will be coming back to kneading the glue. However, Mod Podge does dry fairly quickly and when it dries, it hardens really quick and it can ruin paintbrushes. So for me, I am, since it's gonna be a few minutes until I need my glue again, I am just gonna keep my paintbrush with the excess glue on it in a cup of water so that it doesn't dry and it doesn't harden and it doesn't ruin my brush. Okay, so we are ready to move on to our next step. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set my piggy bank to the side. And the next step is to get out the characters that you guys printed off of the Disney Classroom. So as a reminder, these, I put a lot of different options up on the Disney Classroom. However, you do not need to print all of them. The idea was to give you guys a wide variety to choose from, and then just to print the specific pages that you guys want so that you're not printing a bunch, a bunch of pages um, just to get the characters that you want. So I tried to fit as many as I could on most of the sheets of paper um, to save paper as well. So next, what we wanna do is we wanna decide what characters we wanna put on the outside of our piggy bank. So the next step is to look through the pictures that you guys printed out and to just start cutting those out and making a pile. And in the meantime, our piggy bank is starting to dry, which is perfect, that's exactly what we want. And then we will cut out our characters that we want. And when we're done cutting out characters, we will go ahead and glue them on top of the green. Okay, you guys, so I have got a pretty good collection here of cut out Disney characters and I am ready to decorate the outside of my piggy bank. So I'm gonna go ahead and I just need my glue and I need my characters and I need my piggy bank and that is all we need for this next step. So I'm just gonna start kind of collaging them around the outside. You can kind of choose how many characters you wanna put on. Um, if you wanna make it a theme of like one type of Disney movie characters on the outside. As a tip, it works well if you paint the glue onto your container first and then set your characters on top, especially if you're using Mod Podge. So I put glue down first, and then I'm just gonna set one of my characters on top of that wet glue. And then since I'm using Mod Podge, I kinda wanna seal in that character, just in case any wetness ever got on it or anything like that. It kind of just helps to even out the sides as well so that they don't kind of stick up on the sides. And then I'm just gonna take my glue one more time I don't need very much for this, just a thin layer. 
And then I'm just going to slightly paint right on top of the character to kind of seal seal it all in. And then as a reminder, if you are using Mod Podge, right now it looks pretty white, but it will dry clear and you won't really see it. I'm just going to go ahead and do that with the rest of my characters. Okay, you guys, so I have got my entire container covered with Disney characters. I did just the right amount. Um, everybody will be using a different container, so it kind of just depends on what container you have. That depends on how many characters you cut out. Um, it also depends on how close together you want the characters or how spread out you want them to be. So everybody's will look a little bit different, which I think is super cool. But this is what mine looks like so far before the glue has dried. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to set this to the side. And I'm outside, so I'm actually just going to let it sit in the sun for a few minutes to dry and hopefully get that white glue to turn clear. And in the meantime, I'm going to do some cleanup. So I'm going to put my glue away. I'm going to actually go in... Um, wash out my paintbrush so that this doesn't get ruined and dry. Okay you guys, while our container is drying, I thought I would show you how we are going to make our lid. So this lid is going to go on top of our piggy bank and ultimately we would love for there to be a little slit on top so that you can take your coins and drop them right in there. However, if you are using a container that doesn't have a bendable lid and you can't um, cut a hole through the top, that's okay. It can still be a piggy bank. You could just unscrew the top and drop your coins in or, you know, pop the top and put your coins in. This is just an option if you guys want to cut a hole in the top. Um, however, I want you guys to be safe with this. So, you know, maybe ask somebody at home who feels really comfortable with scissors to help you um, with this part if you don't feel comfortable with it. So for me, what I'm going to do, since my lid is bendable, it's just made out of plastic, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to kind of fold my lid in half. So this is what it looks like, kind of folded. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm basically just going to cut a little hole right in the top here. Just a little slit, actually. And that's going to be where I can then pop my coins into so I have a little hole here and I'm gonna now that I have a little hole slit on top I'm gonna go ahead and just cut a little square area around so that my coins it'll be thick enough for my coins to fit in there so I'm gonna go ahead and just show you kind of what I'm doing here so 
I just cut out a piece like this big out of the lid. And this way it's wide enough and thick enough for my coin to fit through. So it's not perfect. I'm sure if you spent more time on it, you could make it look a lot better than this. Um, this is kind of my first go at it, but um, it worked really well to just fold this in half, make a little slit, and then be able to pop your scissors in there and just cut a little square like this. And now when my piggy bank is dry, I will pop this lid on and I will be able to just drop coins into it. Okay, you guys, I am back and my piggy bank is completely dry and I was able to pop this lid back on. So I made sure that my container was completely dry before I popped my lid on just to make sure that the Mod Podge, if it was still wet, wouldn't stick my lid to it. Um, but this works out great. Now I can start to put my money inside my piggy bank. The hole is perfect on top so I can go ahead and drop a coin in there. Um, but here's what it looks like up close. So as you guys can see, you can barely even see the clear glue now that it's dry. And I love how it turned out. I think it looks super cute. If you guys end up making a piggy bank and you want to share it with us, um, feel free to post a picture of it on our social media or our Google Classroom. We would love to see it. Thanks for joining. Bye.